Hey guys, Dave from Nerdarchy, for nerds, by nerds, hanging out with this nerd. I'm Ted. And uh, today we have our weekly wrap, nerdy news, whatever we're calling it nowadays. And exactly what that is, is we go over all the cool stuff we did last week, and then we put the links in the description below. Or if we got other things going on, this is where we're going to talk about it. For instance, Dungeon Crate. Yeah, they can't see that. Let's see. Whoa. Dungeon Crate. Upside down Dungeon Crate. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, Ted, Ted gets his uh, subscription box of Dungeon Crate every month, and we figure this is the perfect place for us to open it up and show you guys what we got. So, as always, you have the, the nice little Dungeon Crate card. It's got the... The, the the list of everything that's inside the box and what they feel is the value. The, the market value or whatever whatever it happens. Ooh, paper. So yeah, we, the first time we got you know looks like hay, and second time we're, we uh, second and third time we, we wind up with, with paper. So which first, has uses that I'm probably not even aware of. <laughs> Well, the the hay stuff was like flocking and stuff. Right. Like, like when we started like talking about it, and, and, and you know the comments below, everyone was like, "Oh, you can use it for this, and you can use it for that." So this is a little mini deck of what to do if you get a crit fail, and it's got it broken down for uh, like a melee attack or a ranged attack, or you know you're trying to do something with magic. And each card has got multiple options written written on it, and it's a cool little deck for a DM or player to, to kind of pull up, pull out. And Ooh, it looks like there's a decent number of those. Yeah. Score. Critical fumbles. So you got a, a giant size D20, and for the dice addict of myself, it's always cool. Uh, this and it's is yellow, a, so your daughter's probably gonna want to steal. <laughs> Absolutely. So this is a, a a really cool cool die. It's a twelve sided die, but it's actually uh, if you look at the the pips on it, it's actually a one through four done in triangles. So clearly, there's three of three of each uh, each size, uh, three of each number. So pretty cool in my opinion. Fancy D four. Fancy D four. Looks like we get a leather uh, pouch and standard polyhedral set. Looks like I got kind of a, a pinkish purple. Uh, so far, every box seems to have come with some kind of fantasy coin. I don't know how well you guys can see that there. Yeah, I think you got it. They just, you have to just get the angle so the light doesn't reflect so much. Uh, the, the company that so far has done some kind of 3D printed or you know plasma printed thing, an advanced deployment. There's a dice tower that can be assembled. Yeah, I saw. I think I saw the video on Facebook for that. We have some more fantasy inspired bookmarks. Uh, Looks like it's probably a Hydra, a troll, or an ogre, and um, looks like Let's a see. dragon. Okay. Monster, monster, monster. The double sided. So you get a you know you get a different monster on each side. And that's from uh, Nord Games. It's kind of cool. So we they they have an advertisement for uh, apparently starting uh, yesterday. There's the Game Master's Toolbox Critical Hit Deck, which is going to be on on Kickstarter, and they put a sample on the back. So you roll a D4, and it's got four different what you know what kind of effects happen on a critical hit, as opposed to the critical fumble, and it's got it broken down: slashing, piercing, bludgeoning, or magic. So it's kind of the opposite of, of that little deck that that's going on. So give we'll me a, to... give me a magic number three. <laughs> what do you get? Magic number three. The target has minus one D6 to all attack rolls for one D4 rounds. Dun, dun, dun. So little little bonus or. What not, and it's a preview. And then we have the miniatures micro game Brutes. So it's a little four page printout, uh, and it looks like it's a complete mini game, game. with uh, cut out pawns or, or, or miniatures that you can, well, not miniatures, but you know, standees that you can cut out and actually use and, stand them up. and play the game. Ooh, uh, 
Oh yeah, they pulled off. They got stats. If you're old like me, though, you're gonna be all right after we're reading those. I think. <laughs> so I, of, I'm a, small. I'm impressed. I, I I always enjoy opening up the, the the crate and seeing what what kind of totally RPG and you know dungeon related stuff. So, this is number three, right? This is number three. How many did you sign up for? Or is it ongoing monthly? It, it's an ongoing monthly. You can sign up, uh, you know, uh, and have it go every month so that you can either continue or cancel. To cancel or you can do like the three month. I don't know whether there's six or 12, but yeah, I Yeah, because I know like Loot Crate, it's like you can do it for three months. You can months, do one, like, three, six, or 12. Yeah. So. And like. You know, my son was getting Loot Crate for a while, and he had gotten it as a gift from his grandmother, and she forgot <laughs> to cancel it, so I got it again. He was so happy. <laughs> so, Dungeon Crate, there you go. Uh, you know, you guys can decide if you want to check out Dungeon Crate on your own, and I'm sure if you Google it, you'll find it, or maybe I'll even put a link in the description. I think it's just DungeonCrate.com, but yeah. I could be wrong. I think it is DungeonCrate.com, too. It's easy enough to find. Uh, someone uh, had, had someone else on our uh, on Facebook. They're talking about wanting to do a, uh, a some kind of RPG subscription box as well. Mm -hmm. Seems to be the the thing now. And uh, you know they asked that they could put up a um, a um, 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 questionnaire. Okay. I was like, whatever. <laughs> you know, and then shared it, and they're like, oh my god, you shared it. Yeah, <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> whatever, you know. Gaming stuff, we're we're, we're down. Uh, and I think you know with with the the constant variety of stuff if you're into things and you know like loot crate is one of those that you never you don't know what you're going to get whereas yeah. all of the all of dungeon crate you've never gotten a box where there just isn't things that you could use right you know dungeon crate is specifically designed specifically for the tabletop rpg -er, and so far I'm, I'm happy with all of them yeah every box i've seen there you've, you've consistently gotten cool stuff that you would definitely wouldn't mind using in your game absolutely so um, let's go on with our actual nerdy wrap news up. Uh, weekly wrap. So as always, we have the newsletter, <coughs> and that's where you're going to learn how to game with Nerdarchy as well as get weekly tips. I actually didn't send one out last week. I kind of just missed it somehow. So there are only uh, you know. So what are we in April? April there will only be three, I guess, depending on how the Sundays work. Mm -hmm. uh, but generally, we send out one a week. Uh, we have Nerd Arc at the store where you can get nerdy swag. You know, you guys see us wearing it. And then, you know, there's some other things over there. The, some of the stuff with our, our iconic uh, goblin. And if you have some, if you have any suggestions of something that we don't have on our store that you think would be really cool to have, let us know and we'll see if we can make that happen. Yeah, there's been requests for the Scott, Scott Garby shirt. Kill all the NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> so who knows? Uh, we'll, we'll Patreon. Talk. If you guys are supporting us on Patreon, we just want to say thank you. We appreciate it a lot. Uh, for the uh, for you guys who aren't supporting us on Patreon yet, uh, you can if you like. Uh, even a dollar a month goes a long way to helping us and, out. And we are actively working on stuff to actually start putting levels, re reward levels. Um, I know, we keep, we've been saying that for a while, but we're really going to do it eventually. Well, no, 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 <laughs> we keep we, threatening. We, we've been saying that we're work, working on, you know, setting that structure up, and now we are we are actively working on getting... Uh, the content. The, the content. Uh, we want to have six months of stuff created to have as a buffer so that, you know, in case real life actually intervenes, we don't wind up... If a nerd archist dies, we have time to replace him. <laughs> 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 Anything could happen, or his beard falls out or something. Because oh. if the beard, if you don't have a beard, you're out. Uh oh, my, mine diminished. Are <laughs> you worried? <laughs> Maybe. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Nerdarchy the forum that's still going strong with plenty of people talking over there. Great conversations. It's awesome that you guys hang out there. We appreciate it. It's also one of the places where you can uh, you can submit a GM nine one one. We have a section just for it. And of course, the other place for GM nine one ones is over uh, at our email address at nerdarchy at gmail dot com. Just put in GM nine one one in the subject. Give us enough information to be able to answer your question, but please, not too much. We don't need to read an entire blog post just to uh, get to your question. Yeah, well, be concise. That, that's all. Ted hates reading. <laughs> um, 
Well, also, we have... Oh, GM911, while we're on that subject, a GM911 is not a uh, viewer suggestion. It's not a video you'd like us to do. It's an actual problem going on in your campaign that you could use a hand with, and we usually try and give you several different solutions. So if, you're, if your players happen to watch, then you, they, you, they won't automatically know what you're going to do. And not only that, um, the, the viewers are a great resource. There are usually tons of suggestions and ideas that we never even thought of, so it's a great place to go. Our good friend, uh, Gareth, DMG Info, is slowly climbing back to his 10,000 subscribers that got wiped out by the koala dials over a year ago now. Yeah, the YouTube the YouTube glitch that, you know, stole all of his subscribers, all his videos disapp disappeared behind a paywall. He almost quit, but he he, he struggled. He's persevered. He and persevered. He's, he's over 9,000. Over 9,000! <laughs> he should be in 10,000 in no time at all. I can't believe he's not there already. Um, yeah, but... Uh, his videos are great. He does time-lapse uh, videos that are tutorials on how to build stuff, terrain, uh, the 2.5D modular dungeon system. He's got a lot of great stuff going on over there. You should go check it but out. It's more than just the tiles. He also does, you know, terrain, terrain. And, 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 and effects and things that yeah. will make your dungeon look cooler if you're into that crafting stuff. If you're into it. But if you're not and you have a friend, let them know. Share. Share, share, and share. Like, conventions. If there's a convention going on and you would like to see Nerdarchy there, one of the best ways to get us there is have the promoters contact us and ask us to show up. Um, so bug your promoters. Say, hey, there's these guys, Nerdarchy. They stay, say stuff and it's nerdy. Speaking of conventions, if you happen to be going to the Steampunk World's Fair, yours truly will be there as ju just an attendee. So as if, Ted. Just as Ted. Uh, so if you see me, you want to, you know, give a shout out, say hi, you know, I'll spend a few minutes chatting. Uh, but if you've heard me talking about Concardia, I am I'm supposed to be, you know, having the the Concardia cards for specific Nerdarchy. The only way to get those is to, uh, you know, spot me and say, "Hey, give me a card." So. Score. I want to check and see how many conventions those things are at. I'm just curious. It's a bunch because the 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 Jeff Mock events, uh, which is uh, what I've gone to a bunch of, they seem to be at all of those, and they're like you know four to six a year, but mm -hmm. their Concardia itself is is bigger, you know, than, than that. Just so. that, yeah. Uh, we have uh, nerdarchy.com. Uh, over on the website, World of Dark Darkness, uh, fighting that which goes bump in the night. Another one by bump Nigel bump. Nubs. Uh, Sanford pumping out some uh, great content on World of Darkness, which we don't really cover, so it's nice to have him uh, take that on and for you guys. Uh, we had an article, Nerdarchy Cypher System. I don't know why it's Nerdarchy Cypher System. We don't own the Cypher System. Did we, well, uh, did we acquire the Cypher System? <laughs> no, I think it's, it's the fact that Nerdarchy is playing the Cypher System uh, in the Shadowrun world, and uh, Scott Garibay, our, our good friend, he is taking our Tuesday spot, and he is going to be running a, running that particular game. Um, you know, we're, we're doing our session zero in just a couple of weeks. Yeah, so it's coming up. It's uh, it's pretty pretty. He's got a techno surprise for us too for that game. Uh -oh. so, so just you wait. Uh, Rethink and finesse in fifth edition D and D. That's a Tyne Johnson. Always it's, always a good article. Yeah, he, he's amazing. It's a trap, and that is from Art Wood, and and well. I guess it's about traps and Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> 5th edition. <laughs> and then we had Friday, Player's Tips, adding more class to your class, the Sorcerer. I've almost finished that series. Two that's, more. What I, that's what I was thinking. Like, he's got to be running out of classes by now. <laughs> I just literally am going down down in order through the PH Bay. <laughs> so I got Wizard and Warlock, or Warlock and Wizard left. Nice. Uh, so check it out. And then over on uh, the YouTube. Let me do Ah, started off. Right. Besides, you have one on there that's not up yet. Uh oh. <laughs> so, we have uh, Gothic Heroes for Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Unearthed Arcana review that goes along with uh, Ravenloft. Criminals and Crime Lords in your D and D game is a GM nine one one. And uh, if I can get these apart here, Ted will get the second <laughs> se section to give to you guys. All right, we have uh, D and D and D discussions, magic item availability. We have a GM 911. The DM pulls the old bait and switch on his players. Um, you have us talking shadow running, shadow run powered by the Cypher system. We have one hit die web series and the mockumentary review Legend of the Lich Lord. 
We have the half dragon in your D and D game. That's a hey, D &D real quick monsters. on the one hit die one. I want to thank you guys after our video going over there and subscribing because a bunch of you did. Uh, you know their number, their their number jumped uh, quite a bit, several hundred subscribers after we after we aired that uh, video. So cool, and, and they deserve it too. So thanks Absolutely. for going and checking them out. Uh, we have more on the D and D discussions, tabletop RPGs, and technology at the gaming table. Uh, we have the cleric is just for healing in fan in fantasy tabletop RPGs. We have another in our Game Master Tips world building, the Order of the Glyph Seekers, and we round it up with live gameplay session 18, part one, never split your D&D &D adventuring party. Yeah, I think there's one more too from last Sunday that should be on there for a gameplay. I'll, I'll put it in the description below. You guys can find it there and Sorry check it out that. if you missed it. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.